stream, we are actually tackling the Fire Mage this time. So just going back to what Convolution has said in the stream chat, just wanting to know something personal, asking a, a question about how much a full sleeve of tattoo is this going to cost. Um, so I've got two arms full, if you can see this. This is a weird angle, but uh, I think each one probably cost me sort of between 800 and 900, 600, 600 to 800 maybe. But that's from here all the way down to my hands. So it just depends who your tattooist is, what you want done, how long each session is. Are you booking multiple? Because a lot of tattooists will do, say, oh, if you're booking X amount of hours, it tends to work out cheaper if you're rather than doing it individual sessions. Um, best thing to do is uh, have a look at tattooists that you like. Um, and I would recommend uh, for, for tattoos of what you're probably wanting, um, have you any idea of what you actually want done? Because I can probably recommend a tattooist based on that. I've been to a few tattooists. I mean, I've got my loyalty to Benji now. I mean, I trusted him to tattoo my neck. Which has worked out really nice. But I can't wait to get our quarantine to have more tattoos. <laughs> Depending on what you want done, I would say it's going to depend on the tattooist, because each tattooist, of course, has their own independent art style. I will accept any dungeon except the ones we've already done, and Nomagon, because Nomagon makes me see red, and not because I... That, and it's not even redeeming that I get to murder eyes gnomes. Math and science. And um, so what I would recommend is having a look. Um, there's some really good tattooists at Good Vibrations on Ecclesall Road. There's Death Medley, who's my tattooist, Benji. Uh, and there's Trad's girlfriend, who uh, she calls herself. Um, Trad's girlfriend, her name's Tara. Um, The, the, that last one you just suggested there, the coffee bean, the ruby, and the bumblebee. Um, that's something that I would say Tara is good for. Um, as well as there's a few other tattooists within Good Vibrations who'd be incredible. Um, I'm getting a bumblebee and a ruby tattooed for the girls. I'm going to get it done on my heart here. So I'm going to get a tattoo that combines Esther and Beatrice done over my heart. So. That's on the on the cards for me too, so and I know who I'm going to for that, so God that noise is annoying. But, um, I know who I'm going to for that one. I'm going to get um, either Tara or Benji to do it because I love that art style. I know Tara is great with drawing portraits of animals, so but I know Benji's good at anatomical stuff. So something like a bumblebee, like a, if we're talking accurate drawing of a bumblebee, um, yeah, you're about right with that money. First time I'm going to die, is it? Nope. Took Chester. That should be enough money, but just bear in mind that each tattoo will require a deposit. And of course, each tattoo will be individually priced, but if you bulk by sessions, say you're definitely getting a sleeve done, then they go, how long? Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, I mean, I'm getting a tattoo done as soon as I get out of quarantine, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a vampire bet tattooed on one side of my neck and I'm getting Nosferatu tattooed on the other side. So I'm thinking, um, yeah, one giant one giant piece. Yeah, so I'm, with me, I'm going to get, because I've got my plan shirt, I want Nosferatu here and a vampire bat here. Because Dracula's my favourite story and I'm one spooky boy. Yeah, 
consistent, so you want a consistent art style. Um, see, I know that maybe I'm biased because I, I, I love Benji's art style, but he's looking to do a lot more bigger pieces. Depending on what you want, he might be right up your street. So that's Fuki Boy, exactly. That's what got Satan tattoos, and I've got, I'm going to get my Dracula tattoos. I can't wait. Uh, I'm putting money aside every month, what and I'm waiting. I'm just like it? this. Weird. Weird. Watch your back. Don't get me wrong, I love the undead. It's just, I would love to play as one of these, but the fact that they're all hunched over all the time bothers me. It's like, do they not have a chiropractor in the Undercity? They can literally stitch people back together, but they can't fix their backs. I'm just saying. I'm the authority. I appreciate the trust, man. If you, you know, um, as I say, me and my brother, um, we've got uh, we've got a lot of tattoos, and we've been to a lot of different tattooists. Um, so I always say that the best way to go is if you've got somebody who knows a good tattooist, there's nothing more than it's like the way I see. You gotta think about this, man. If you trust somebody to put something on your body forever, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be a hundred percent. If you're gonna recommend them to somebody else, then they're not gonna ruin people's lives. With that said, whenever Benji tattoos me, I go just ruin my life. Um. Oh yeah, my brother's doing fine. Um, he got laid off from his um, day job, sadly, at, uh, as an engraver, but uh, Corp are paying, uh, doing that 80% thing, so he's got money. Um, he's actually just um, agreed to move out with some of his buddies who he works at Corp with, so they're all getting a shared house soon. Um, so my brother's doing good. Yeah, he's moving on with his life, and I'm really glad with that about that because he um, he just needed a break from all the crap that had happened to him, and I felt for him because he's exactly where I was about three and a half years ago, um, where things just weren't going well, and um, I, I you know, and he just needed a break, and I got my break because I I mean, got a new job. I met Chloe. Um, and then it all went up from there. So my brother, he had a really painful breakup, really bad relationship. Um, well, the relationship was fine. It was the breakup itself that did the damage. Um, I need to target something first. Of course, man. Um, I say my brother works at Corp, and it's like my, my brother's always. Um, unfortunately, because my brother lives with my parents, he's got more expendable income than I do. He also doesn't have two children. Um, He's going to get more. Uh, he's beating me on the tattoo tally, given that I started before him, and I'm like, this, this is unacceptable. But how dare he get his face tattoo before I had my face tattoos? You're not going to get a face tattoo while you're on. Of course I am. Of course I'm going to get a face tattoo, have you not seen how extra I am? I do have an Instagram. I've lost count how many alcoholic beverages I've had today. I'm actually really enjoying Fire Mage. I feel like I'm not supposed to enjoy this because I don't play ranged, but Fire Mage is really fun. Children will be the death of us, but then again, the young shall inherit the earth. It does, doesn't it? Um, I, I, that sounds lovely, yeah. I'm going to say, kids, it sounds like the most cliche thing you'll ever hear because everyone says it. 
but they're so rewarding. They really are. Um, it's so rewarding because I, bearing in mind, I never wanted children. Like when I was younger, I never wanted kids, and now I've got them. I'm like, well, I can't imagine my life without them, actually. Oh, don't you miss this? Don't you miss that? Oh, what, going out and getting drunk every weekend because I had nothing better to do with my life? No, I don't miss that. You know what I mean? Like, Do I miss going out a bit more often than I do? I mean, sure, but do I miss the lifestyle? No, no, no. Exactly, it's great. Um, well, the thing with kids, I know it sounds really weird, it's just because they're so innocent, you know what I mean? Like, and it's, um, it's that innocence that's kind of inspirational and almost permeating in its own existence. So, um, it's like, you know, the world is like a magic place with the eyes of a child, so when you're a parent and you get to experience the wonder that they experience it kind of brings it all home a bit that you know maybe we are too cynical as adults you know maybe we do need to be a bit more childlike in our view of the world you know children look at the world with wonder and it's like sure if you look at everything that's everything's amazing, then you are going to see, you know. I'm not going to get on my soapbox about for, like, for, uh, like being philosophical about how it, one should look at life through the eyes of a child, but it's self-explanatory. Well, of course, but there's always going to be bad people out there, man. Call me cynical, but you know, it's like, I'm not a cynic, it's just that, um, I firmly believe that it's like, yeah, it's sad that people exist that would be, would be willing to hurt people of, like that, but it's like, don't worry, it's, um, don't be sorry. Um, it's like, it's sad. Um, it's, um, and it's, um, it's interesting because think that, you know, the way that families are, it's, it, it, it puzzles me how anyone could, you know, um, it's like, I'm not one of those people that's, what bothers me is that, um, this is a slightly different topic to what you were discussing, but do you know what people who don't want kids get judged for not wanting kids? And I don't like that either. Like, some people just don't want to have children, and that's fine. Um, yeah, oh, you'll change your mind. I think that's actually a really toxic thing to say. Like, you know, going, oh, you don't want kids, oh, you'll change your mind. It's like, they probably won't. If they don't want kids, they don't want kids. I've always known I wanted a family, but then I got to an age where I decided I didn't think I actually did want kids. But then I again went back to what I originally thought which was that one day I would like my would like a family but if I'd gone my whole life not wanting a family I, when I, was older, a I probably wouldn't have kids do you know well that makes sense man. it's like I say anyone harms any 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 harm comes to the to, to anyone in my family, and it's like well, whoever did it's gonna wish they didn't. Not a lot of people get on my bad side, and there's a reason for that. Um, yeah. Who know who knows, guys? We might actually get the serpent bloom in this one. I, 
but what, one thing that is interesting, I think, is the girls are very fortunate to have as many people looking out for them as they do. Yeah, obviously they've got mum and dad. They've got you. They've got my parents. They've got my brother. And we've got me and my brother's friends. You know, the kids are well protected. Let's have a good look at these animations. I appreciate that man, honestly. It's like it's really nice to hear, you know, that we that we've been a positive driving force in other people's lives. Like we just try and live live, live the best life that we can. And we try and um we try and like uh I, I my own life is that I do it's kind of do what thou wilt is my belief system if you like, but um a lot of that is do for others what you'd expect other people treat other people how you want to be treated and you know, it's like kindness doesn't cost anything. I am out of range. Kindness, friendship, and compassion are free. And we so, so therefore we should freely give it unless somebody has a reason to, to betray that trust. I appreciate that, dude. Let's say the girls have done that for me. Multiple times. I require a target. Do you know what? To say what time it is, I'm surprised I'm not one bit tired. The girls are the best. Yeah, they are. All three of my girls are the best. Chloe, Esther, and Beatrice are my girls. And all three of my girls are amazing. I've got my own little team of cheerleaders at home, and it's the best thing I could ever ask for. I've got three cheerleaders in my house, and the, you know what I mean? The, the, I've got three, the three little cheerleaders. The best, what, what, what more could I ask for? All three of them, you know, coming back home to all three of them is the best, the most rewarding thing in the world. And one day I hope that, you know, but there will be more kids, I hope. Maybe one or two more, I would hope, eventually. Mm. Definitely, I mean, they're the most rewarding... They're, put it this way, the, 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 the most I've ever accomplished in my life is being a dad. I'm not talking about reproducing, I'm talking about being a dad. Anyone can father a child, but it takes somebody a, a different caliber of man to be a dad. And I've always said that. Anyone can father a child, but being a dad is different. Um, my, my dad's dad was never a good man. Um, so he wasn't dad. So my dad had a stepdad. And his stepdad was... Fantastic bloke. Um, really was. Um, I unfortunately didn't have a close, closest bond to my dad's dad as he did. Because we didn't see much of that side of the family. But my interactions with Glenn, he was very, he was ex military, very stern, but he was also very inspiring. Like he would, it didn't matter what, you, you could still go to him with a problem. Uh, you, you know, and, 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 I, and I think that the fact I that he walked into my my dad's mom's life, so my 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 grandma on my dad's side, um, he walked into their life when she had five kids. I need to target uh, and he took first. all of them on. I require a target. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
exactly. Um, so I am. Um, I'm hoping uh, that in the next couple of years that we're going to have, a, or maybe in the next year, um, next year or so, um, we we can have another edition. Uh, the world does need more heroes, or the world at least needs more inspirational figures. It needs more. Needs needs people. I think the world needs more good people in it. And you know what? It, it's like being a good person doesn't cost anything. It just means looking outside the box, looking looking outside your own singular existence, and you can be a good person. It literally anyone can change and change the path of their life to be a good person. Man, um, I know that because I was on a self-destructive path before I came across these girls. And, um, you know, I ended up having a child of my own. I never thought t t t t three years ago. Yeah, my life, though. Yeah, a big family. That's what I want. Um, someone said to me, how many kids do you want? I'm like, a litter. A litter would suffice. I require a target. A litter. Put this, put it this way. When I'm old and senile, I need someone to come and bring me beer and let me say inappropriate things without being judged. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need at least three or four kids to bounce that off because the, the one kid's not gonna tolerate all of that. It's like, can you sit with Dad today? He's sat in his wheelchair screaming about existence again. And they'll be like, yeah, yeah. Can you go deal with Dad? He, he was yelling at the sky again today. Yeah, yeah, Exa it is exactly what's happening now. So, you know, um, in terms of I've been shouting at the sky and trying to fight invisible demons. Too far away. But that's just quarantine. Um, but I've been, I've been mad as a hatter for a very long time. I've got, I'm sure it's something to do with the concussion I received at three years old. It's the reason I'm actually a lunatic, but who knows. These dungeons are bringing back some serious. Oh, this is an AOE. Cool. We'll pop the AOE up there because it's not going to be on our main rotation. You know, it's like, this is what I mean though, it's like, I, I think my family is the best too, and it's not just the core members of the family that make that, it's people like you, man. Um, you know, Uncle Lol, you know, you, you make the family too. And um, my, 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 my best friend Jacob, Uncle Jack, he makes the family. Yeah, I've heard it takes two people too, man, unless of course you can form a blood pact with a demon who can bring you, a, bring you an orphan's child from the pits of hell itself. Listen, man, I don't have any other sides that aren't soft. I might look scary and intimidating, but it's like, I always say the same thing. It's like, people think I look scary. It's like, I'm not. I'm massively soft. I'm just like, I'm like one of those big, goofy, um, dogs. Yeah, Demon Pact. I mean, that's, um, basically how I've got anywhere in life. I just go make some bargains with some demons. It's like, hey, man, if I give you, like, my soul, will you do me the thing? Yeah, I'll do you the thing. Sure, do me the thing. Yeah, here's the thing. What do I need? Your soul? I don't have one of those anyway. Okay, 
so. We're gonna handle our quest. We're gonna definitely get some levels out of this shit. I still need serpent bloom bead. Bloody flowers for this quest. Right, they're so annoying because they don't highlight on your map. Oh, there's one there. I must get closer. I need another three. A succubus or three. Are you suggesting that you want a Harima Succubi? Because, I mean, that might be the most anime thing I've ever heard. Yes, I did just refer to a plethora of... Um, more than one succubus is succubi. Because succubuses just sound stupid. Every time I say the word succubus, I can just think of a song by a uh, ghost called Gule, which it translates as zombie queen. Um, I won't judge you, man. Um, no, no, no judgment here unless you play Volpiria in World of Warcraft. There are two there are two kinds of people in this world three kinds of people in this world that I judge. If you play Volpira, if you play Alliance, or if you put pineapple on pizza. Yeah, Zombie Queen. It's a, it's the name of a song by that band Ghost that I like. You know how I'm a big fan of the band Ghost man? Um yeah, so Ghost. They've got a song called Gule or Zombie Queen. Honestly, one of their best songs. Such a good song because it's really atmospheric. It starts off like with a, p a slow piano and really spooky lyrics, and then eventually it goes into like surfer rock. It's great. Every time someone says succubus, it reminds me of the song Gule, and that's because one of the lines of the song is from the darkness rides succubus. I do not have a target. So every time someone says that word, succubus, I just think of uh, the ghost song which is from the darkness, right of succubus to usurp the throne. Um, ghost is one of those bands that just have amazing dark lyrics, like, not even, they're not like depressing, it's just spooky. It's like, if you like Scooby-Doo music, but heavy metal, that's, that's ghost. I require a target. Uh, MCR gig, uh, so far, no, it's not been cancelled, that's still in June. So theoretically, the lockdown will be over by then. Over here, at least. So we're not sure what's going to happen with that because it's not been cancelled yet. And I have no intention of going on a killing spree, so I hope it isn't. I'm already crying enough for the fact I've got tickets. I don't need to cry because I bought tickets and it got cancelled. That might even be more emo than going to the gig in the first place. Buy a the MCR gig tickets, man. I imagine with, a, uh, with something as big as My Chemical Romance, they wouldn't just outright cancel it. It might get postponed. They might postpone it for like two months or something, like until sort of September time or something like that. If lockdown is still going on, don't go. Uh, I mean, they won't perform if they're still locked down. Um, because, I mean, Gerard Way, he's had some health problems, so his, he, his immune system is shot. Oh yeah, man. It's like I'm not going to take any stupid risks. Like I'm just very much aware that I spent nearly, well, more than two hundred pounds to get two tickets. That's a stupid amount of money to spend, you might say. But no, no, it's not. It's my chemical romance. I just spent double that. I need to target something. I will first. literally fight anybody that says otherwise. <laughs> Postponing. I imagine if 
if My Chemical Romance have to do anything, they, they've announced three gigs in the UK. They're not going to, like, they're not going to cancel the three shows. I think they'd postpone it. I, I really, I think that, I think that they wouldn't cancel. I think they'd just postpone, to be honest, man. Um, there's too many people that, have, they, they've sold out four different days in the UK. They, they, they wouldn't not come back. Like, I think what they'd do is rather than be like, oh, here, have your money back. They'd be like, okay, we're going to have to delay the gig for like two months or something. You can all come to the gig with your tickets. But it's going to be in like September or something. In fact, you know what I'm fine with? If they delay it and have to do it on Halloween. I love My Chemical Romance. I would literally die for that band. If you didn't notice, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got this spider here. That's the Danger Days My Chemical Romance spider tattooed on my arm there. And I'm planning a few more My Chem tattoos by the time I'm done, so. The spider on the inside of my arm is actually the exact same one from the Danger Days album cover for My Chem. Um, I'm a huge My Chemical Romance fan. You pretty much play um, Third Place or Third Degree War Legit. Funny enough, that was my actual the day I was supposed to be born. Now, I'm not saying that just to be cut because I'm goth dad and I want to be more goth aesthetic than I already am. Um, my, I was two weeks early and I was born the 19th of October. My due date was um, my due date when I was when I was born should have been basically Halloween. I am awake at last. So I was destined to be a spook from that day on. Uh, yeah, just so it'd be just after our birthday, so we're still gonna go. Well, hopefully, provided that well, lockdown will be over by then, unless something drastic happens. Uh, we're gonna go to Edinburgh for birthdays again, probably. I wish I was born on Halloween, which is when I should have been born. That would have been, like, I would have been so happy with that. You have no idea. If I'd have been born on Halloween, I'd just been like... <laughs> right, so... Just going to end the... Uh, video there and we'll start another part in a minute.